So Chris, hey, congratulations on Gutterbug, Gutterbug here. Um, so tell me where the original idea came from. Yeah, the original idea came from uh, just Andrew Gibson, the director, living in Alston. Um, I spend a lot of time there. I, I live in Central Mass, but I'm there pretty much every weekend. Um, and just mostly going to a lot of like punk rock shows in the city. Um, and then also seeing like some of the same people who you would see at the punk rock shows sort of out on the streets and like some of them begging for change. And, you know, you figure that people aren't necessarily destined for that sort of lifestyle right off the bat. There had to have been some sort of backstory or something happened. Um, so we would sort of just think in our heads like, how did this happen? Was it mental health? Was it drug addiction? Was it, you know, did they come from maybe a sort of normal home life, but something, something changed, something went wrong? So just sort of developing a, uh, a narrative in our own minds for that rather than asking them directly, you know, how did you become homeless? How, why do you live on the street? Um, sort, of, sort of sparked the whole idea. So you never even attempted or tried to talk to any of these folks on the streets? Oh, we certainly did. Yeah, no, we talked to them a lot, especially Andrew. Um, I kind of describe him as like the mayor of Alston, Massachusetts, and that he, he won't not talk to anybody. He's, he's one of the least most judgmental people I know. He just, he, he, you know, the person who's, you know, begging for change and collecting bottles on your neighborhood who some people won't look in the eyes like Andrew will go out of his way to have a conversation with them and some dialogue. So I think that helped a lot with the inspiration as well. What was the most uh, surprising story that you ever uncover from any of these people? You know, we didn't pry too much into their actual backgrounds. I don't know why. I, I think that's kind of like not a sensitive thing, but I guess we, we didn't want to just, I, it was always just very casual, like just talking about the day or just like letting them talk to us for a while. Um, and so, yeah, nothing specific about like their background or how they ended up here. I think sometimes it's not necessarily by choice, but it's not always like so like this is very mental health driven or I have a drug addiction. Sometimes there are people who prefer to just sort of live that way, just, you know, out in the world, you know. So was it easy to fill in the blanks without doing, you know, taking their stories, basically do, basing, basing everything off of your own research? Um, it was. I, I think we had a, a story that we decided was appealing enough to us where you have a young man who is, um, you know, battling mental health and also some, um, some addiction as well. And then you incorporate sort of an unstable home life in some ways, even though up front and appears fairly stable. Everybody has issues, you know what I mean? And for him, that just sort of pushed him out of the house at the right time. Um, those same things that he was struggling with before leaving home escalated once you're, once you're out of the house, once you're exposed, once you're living on the streets. And so that's, I think that's where I imagine that cycle sort of continues um, and becomes harder and harder to get out of sort of as time goes on. Now, it's a bit surreal that you're doing a West Coast premiere at Dances with Films Festival because we, Los An here in Los Angeles, has one of the largest homeless population. And one of the critical things about our homeless populations is a great percentage of them are young millennials yeah. on, on the streets with yeah. that type of culture. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. And actually, I wish I had come here before we shot it because it's been so like so very much what we encountered in Boston in some ways but on a much larger scale here um, I look at some of the tent cities and I'm like that's exactly how I wanted our tent cities to look in the movie you know it was a it was a low budget film we had to do things on a smaller scale and very DIY but big picture I mean I, I look at it and I'm like this is exactly this is the culture and I think it is more and more um, like you said I mean there's, there's sort of that line between like you know I'm like sort of living um, with very little money and I'm, I'm into just sort of traveling around and meeting new people. There's that and then there's when it becomes like, okay, I'm kind of stuck here now. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of what happens to our, our main character in Gutterbug is he is very stuck. He actually decides that, okay, this was kind of a choice and now I want out and I can't quite get out of it. So that's sort of what you see. Were you struggling towards the end of the, um, writing the end of the film on whether you wanted a happy or, or a sad ending? Sure, yeah, because uh, that's what you talk about when you leave a movie. You know, you talk about the movie in its entirety, but usually the first thing you're going to focus on is how it ended. Um, I thought that we wanted we wanted a movie that had some, sort. you know, you feel like the audience deserves some sort of resolution, but we wanted it to be realistic as well. You know, a lot, a lot goes down in the process of Bug trying to get home and some very incriminating things, and you need to be, there's an amount of accountability for that. So even though it's there's there's some resolution, you know, 
see the movie, see for yourself, you can decide. There's also an amount of realism in it where, um, yeah, the decisions you make, whether they're because of mental health or, you know, drugs and alcohol or, or whatever, um, you pay for them in some way. Absolutely. And um, do you have any more upcoming projects after Gutterbug? Yeah, we've got some stuff in the work. We've got a bunch of ideas being molded around right now. Um, we're working on our next script, our next film. So, um, yeah, there, there will be more on the way. Excellent. Hey, yeah. thank you very much, Chris. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks, man.